This is Minecraft Trinity, a series inspired by flaming Moai's ultra hardcore generations. In this format, me and my two buddies try to beat the Ender Dragon Wither and Warden. On the way, everyone has one life like normal hardcore, but if somebody dies, they still have a chance. Because if one of us defeats one of the golds, everyone that died on the way gets their life back. We switch about every 15 in-game days and Sukanda started as the Wheel of Faith decided. Next in line is myself and then Professor Fink. Even though their videos are German, I'm sure you'd enjoy them. So make sure to check out the complete Minecraft Trinity playlist and their channels. This time I started by enchanting some books and later had a look at what a crossbow or bow might get. We really need a good crossbow or bow. Doesn't matter I believe piercing force or right I guess and I'm breaking free would be good combined with the power five villager but we sh really should get a ranged weapon because I think all of the gold mobs need ranged attacks. Well, okay, the Ender Dragon can be done with melee only. And you somehow could reach the Wither as well, I guess. But that's bullshit. And the Warden isn't meant to be beat. And I guess our only chance at killing him would be ranged. Um, because I think he's immune to lava. With the diamond pickaxe and sword in my inventory, I made my way down to the mine. I don't know how much diamonds I need to copy the template enough times, but for fortune. Mm, do I go in the strip mine? You know what? No. We don't look for diamonds this way. We'll look for an ancient city. It's risky, but we can turn back and we need to find one. So, I'm gonna do the work, I guess. I looked around a bit, but couldn't find any way leading to an ancient city, so I decided to duck into the wall and look for an ancient city that way. It's a diamond right there. I really like the look of this cave. But, better be careful. Yonk. Okay. Seems to only be one again. Hmm. Well. Okay. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Ugh. Oh, damn. That's a big zombie wave. I see. Oh, I couldn't see him because. Uh. Okay. And he's gone as well. Damn. That was some. Oh. Did I mention that I hate caving? Oh, that, yeah, that's diamonds. Okay. No way around it then. Come on. You just piss off. Um, maybe I can go around. Um, mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay. This should be... Okay, I just... Uh, okay. Ah! Okay, plug this off. Wow. Great. I... risk my life for yet another diamond. Okay, it's five in total, so fortune- oh, 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 fortune is definitely working. Whew. I fought my way through the caves, always on the look for some more diamonds or skulk. Okay, so I looked up guide, and apparently the one only can reach like 27, or something like that blocks. So I just need to build up, and... Yeah, then I can just shoot down. Okay. I made up my mind. I will try. I hope there's no freaker here. Um, I will fight the one if I find an ancient city. Because I have the crossbow and bow still with me. And I think 
this is a bit bigger than what we found at our cave, so this might lead to an ancient city. Mm -hmm. Oh, gold. Okay, I'll take that as well. Red, only one gold. Uh, oh, damn. This is it. Okay. Um, this looks fabulous. I absolutely love the ancient city. I believe back there is the portal. And there's a shrieker right down there. Mm. Okay, so... I place the water. And... It doesn't seem to activate the shrieker, that's good. Uh, okay, but I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, damn. So unnecessary. Ouch. Okay. Just be quiet. And I can... Stay. That's the only shrieker right here, right? Okay. This should be safe. Coast is clear. Time to loot. With my finger on shift the whole time, I made my way through the rooms. Okay, you need to go. I wish for a hole. Oh, that scared me. Uh, hmm. Well, that's some bad luck right there. Okay, chest number four. At least the diamond hole that I wished for. Um, I'll take the coal, but I don't know. There should be a chest. Yeah. Okay. And no shrieker. Uh, yeah. Take the little pants, I guess. Protection one. Um, I mean, we could use the regeneration potions, probably. Okay, so the guide said that the ceiling is the furthest from the portal thingy. So I probably will spawn the warden around here, but not without warning it. I looked around a bit until I found another shrieker. Hmm, we had normally there's shriekers up here, but maybe. <laughs> oh fuck, build it up. <sighs> okay, he didn't spawn yet. Um, let me first get ready. Now I just... Oh, fuck, here we go. Okay, it's, it's a far way to the ceiling. Okay, I just build up. That will trigger him. Eventually he was born, and if not, I just shoot up. Okay, never mind, he spawns. <laughs> I'm so scared. I hate this guy. Uh, I should uh, save myself. Uh, don't you dare shoot at me. Okay, where is that? Okay, down there. Everything good comes from above or something. <laughs> I know the guide said he can't reach me, but I'm scared to death. <laughs> Finally, I fucking sat here for an hour. With the one defeated, I made my way down, but wasn't as careful as I should have been. Okay, I'm tired of this. I'm just... Grab the water. And... Okay. Quickly. Okay! Okay, never mind! First tree spawn or something. Okay. Just... 
go up the way I came. Bye bye. I I won't uh, stick around any longer. Oh god. <laughs> I am walking. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I should be fine. Oof. Imagine I would have died like this. Just reviving Tsukanda and then dying myself, damn. Um, yeah, well. Uh, hmm. I think I'll just go this way. I dug myself up until I entered the water cave and swam to the surface. Badlands. Okay. Could be the ones that we live in. And then never mind. I'm like a couple hundred blocks away. Okay, get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a desert village? Seems like it, but isn't the one. Oh wait, maybe? I... I can't quite tell. Oh, yeah, that's the trading hall. Okay, that's our um, village. I quickly ran to the village and hopped into the bed. On the next day I went right back to work and sold some sticks and discovered that one of the villagers could trade on breaking free after a level up. I'm gonna expand the sugarcane field even further so I can at least get the fellow fall four guy to level two. Uh, I'm not so sure about the unbreaking free guy, but Sukanda should be able to easily get him to level two then. I realized this wouldn't be enough to make it in the next two days, so I returned home. Ah, what a great sight. Would you believe me if I said that I'm gonna miss this place if we make it? I harvested the sugarcane with the help of my little helpers and sorted my inventory. 52 diamonds, that could be enough I think. Mm, 7. Okay, 7 would be for armor, then sword. Pickaxe and axe, probably. So, the most important tools. But I think we should always keep one safe in the case we die with the Neverite uh, equipment. I crafted the diamond axe and chopped down all the trees in our backyard. Okay, sometimes the old methods are the best methods. Now, look at this and learn. Don't you dare throw like that piece of shit. With the wood I made two new item frames and renamed the bow and skull catalyst. What would be a better place than right next to a reminder of mortality? Mm, on the left side. Yeah. So we always know what is at stake and also what we are able to achieve if we try. Okay, time to... Make our first piece of Neverite armor. Very nice. So Tsukana and I talked and we both agreed on the chest blade. Just uh, so you know. I hate when stuff like that happens. No, that's not right. Okay. With that bit of philosophical high life of this world, I returned to her enslavement center and maximized the sugarcane farm. So that's level 2. And then Feral Fall 4. Easy peasy. Wait, do crops only grow with light? That's a thing, right? Ah, oh, shit. With that theory in mind, I robbed the abandoned village of its torches to light the farm. Well, that was kinda useless. It's turning day already. I grabbed the last stash of sugarcane, turned it into paper, and bought another Sharpness 4 book for the diamond sword. Nice Sharpness 5. Very nice. I don't know if we need it, but it for sure can determine a fight. But for now, it's time to go home. At base, I sorted the chests and put the new books on the equipment. Okay, Feather Hall 4 and Shamus 5. Very nice. I've learned to really appreciate Feather Hall 4 in my last few micro playthroughs. And now all that's left is to put everything I own in this chest. Damn, really nice. 
Oh, and right in the Trinity lock. Okay, he should make the villager level 2. Obviously, he should find the stronghold and fight the Ender Dragon. If he wants, he can get the Elytra. Oh, it would be really nice if he finds looting. And, as I showed further on, is to use the damn equipment. There's no use for it if we don't use it. Okay, that's from me now. I wish you much fun with Tsukanda's videos, and Tsukanda, I wish you good luck. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the past 15 days, as I think they were the most exciting 15 days I had so far. We finally defeated the first goal and are on a good road to the next one. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and comment if you think that we can beat this challenge. Until then, I hope to see you in the next one, dear plug enjoyer.